We're heading to uh, Pine Creek First Nation, uh, which is where the Pine Creek Residential School was. So I was one of the last residential school survivors to attend there. So I'm at um, Pine Creek uh, Catholic Church. Uh, it was part of the residential school. We attended church here every Sunday, the whole three and a half years that I was that I was here, along with my siblings. There were strappings, there was ear pulling, uh, there was you know mouth uh, soap put in our mouth if we spoke our language. And and what what happens as re, as as a result of that fear? I started wetting my bed. I peed probably the first year, maybe every night, and that nun rubbed my face in my own urine. I'm telling you, I cried more, I cried, cried louder, and then she threatened me more, stop crying. So I went to bed hurting, physically, emotionally, mentally. I went to bed hurting, and I woke up the same way. I'll just show you kind of where the, the foundation is of uh, of the dormitory or the residence. Right here um, was a five-story a five structure where the dormitory or the residence was. This would be my favorite spot. I'd feel the warmth of the sun. So for three and a half years, this is, this was a was my favorite spot. My reconciliation includes reconciling with that five-year-old boy and that nothing was his fault. <laughs> nothing was his fault. Nothing was my fault. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was a pure little boy when I walked on those steps on that first step when the nun put her hand on me that was the beginning of the shattering of my foundation of my family foundation It's a creator song. Away, away. 